Hi, I'm Zach Faginson with Miami Today, and I'm here at the Doral headquarters of the Florida Grand Opera for an interview with the opera's general director, Robert Hewer. During our talk, he discussed some of the major changes that have gone on in both the opera and Miami's cultural community during his 25-year tenure as general director and also where the opera is headed in the near future. You're sounding a lot like the, my board treasurer. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, and it's interesting because uh, you know some of my board, uh, some of the bankers and some of the uh, sure. uh, corporate people are saying we really have reached the bottom and we're starting up. But I, my guess is that even if that's true, um, we're going to be lagging behind in terms of uh, support and uh, donors. Um, we one of the things that was interesting last year when we went into renewing our subscribers, we were very worried that subscribers would fall off. Uh, uh, but in fact, we exceeded our goal for subscribers. We, we had a really great renewal. So it tells me at least that people very much want to continue to attend things and go to events and to be a part of the arts organizations that have been important to them. So from that standpoint, I feel good about even going into next year. I think, uh, I think we have a good basis to believe that our subscribers will be there. Um, where we've seen some fall off, particularly particularly is on the lower end donors. Um, our big donors have kind of stayed with us and stayed sure. at their current level, so that's that has been encouraging. Uh, but we've seen uh, donors who are giving, let's say, under $1,000 in donations. That group has fallen off, and I suspect they're the most hurt by the economy and, uh, and uh, uh, all of the issues that are out there on the financial side. Um, we're trying very much to, as we work through next season, to have a budget in place that doesn't anticipate real growth, uh, but that it is a budget that is pretty much static for next year from this current year's actual uh, income and uh, we think that's the prudent thing to do and so um, but it is a challenge and we're trying again to look at it from an artistic standpoint uh, how do we maintain the level make sure and you know it, it's interesting because one of the things that um, we've seen happen in this last year is that singers fees have come down mm -hmm. because there has been less work sure. and so singers are willing to take a little less and so as we've been negotiating contracts for next year, we've seen that we can save a little bit of money on the, on the fees we're paying them, not compromising who we want or who we're going to be presenting in these productions, but that we're actually having to spend a little less. So that's encouraging in terms of trying to make that, that budget stay flat so we can spend money in, in some other areas uh, to maintain the artistic quality.